Recent United Nations statistics show that more than 250 million people globally consume drugs. And despite global efforts to combat the production, trafficking and consumption of illicit drugs, use is increasing, particularly in countries surrounding Afghanistan, which includes Pakistan, Iran and Central Asia. A new report titled Dependent on Development, undertaken by the Nossal Institute of Global Health in collaboration with Family Health International and funded by the Open Society Institute, provides evidence that links between drug production, conflict, increased poverty and poor development are trapping the world in a vicious cycle. Motivation for the report, for the work that led to the report, was years of working in situations where people are uh, lives are being blighted by uh, involvement with illicit drugs, either production or, or consumption. And yet watching all the development agencies putting money into social and economic development ignoring the problem. On the one hand, um, problems with drugs come from inadequate social and economic development in most cases in most developing countries and nobody was addressing them as development problems. The report, which focuses on illicit drug use in the Asian region, examines the complex interrelationship between the production, trade and use of illicit drugs, illicit drug policies, human rights and social and economic development policy. Our main findings were that the relationships between illicit drug production, trade and consumption are related to socioeconomic development. And this was based on studies and reviews conducted in countries world over. And we found substantial evidence that poor socioeconomic development contributes to enhancing illicit drug production, consumption and trade, and vice versa. So for example, in countries such as Afghanistan, Myanmar, Colombia, which are um, the world's largest producers of illicit drugs, you find conditions of conflict, um, people living in poverty, and because of this, they then turn to illicit drug production, trafficking or consumption. According to the report, it is estimated that 73% of households in Burma now rely on income from opium to provide food, shelter, education and health for their families. And it's findings like this that Professor Crofts hopes will shock development and drug control agencies to learn to look well beyond the unrealistic goal of stopping drugs and invest in solutions that address the clear social and economic factors that ultimately fuel drug cultivation and consumption. Look, what we're trying to do with the research to, to make sure that it has an impact is to uh, educate, inform and educate both development agencies who are involved in development projects so that they think about their impact on drugs and agencies charged with controlling drugs to make them think about the fact that they're working in an environment um, uh, of inadequate social and economic development and if they don't tackle that they won't do anything useful about uh, illicit drugs. We have to change our view from looking at the drugs as being the motivating actor in the situation to looking at the social and economic circumstances of people who are driven to get involved in the drug trade, whether it be in production or consumption of drugs. Music